Hello everybody and welcome to or welcome back to my Sims 3 Leprosy Let's Play. This season is season 7 and this is Supernatural which oh my god I am so excited. Supernatural hands down one of my favorite expansion packs. The furniture that comes with Supernatural the gameplay aspects that come with Supernatural. I'll show it through the course of this Lepisi, but oh my god, it is some of my favorite furniture and gameplay in the entire Sims 3 franchise. If you are new to this channel and you have never seen one of these Lepisi videos of mine before, or if you have never seen me play with this family, do not worry, you do not have to watch the previous six generations because that is quite a large order to undertake to watch six generations, 50 minute episodes apiece. Yeah, I don't expect anyone to do that. So if you have not seen me play this family before, do not worry, I will give you the history. I will give you what their interests are, what their likes are, their personality characteristics, and what they have been up to since they moved from Starlight Shores over to the beautiful, mysterious, very elusive, very alluring Moonlight Falls. I absolutely love this world. I love the fact that it's styled to be like a very like eerie sort of town. Very much so takes on the characteristics of like the late 2000s, early 2010s of like the vampire sagas that were going on like twilight and vampire diaries and speaking of vampire diaries <laughs> first of all i should probably introduce myself before i start speaking about vampire diaries because i'm sure it will come up several times i have watched vampire diaries i am an avid watcher love it <laughs> and we'll get into why i just brought that up in just a second here but let me introduce myself okay okay <laughs> um just kidding but i am maddie or a cotton sock and i have played six generations with this family previously as i mentioned i will give you a really good rundown before we even get into the meat and potatoes of gameplay so don't you worry if you have never seen this family before i'll get you into it all right so in the last episode of the last season i asked you guys to give me two names because literally in the last this is the first time this has ever happened by the way i had twins i had twins in my and especially in the last episode <laughs> of last season that has never ever happened before where i have a baby in the very last episode but we had twin boys and i asked you guys for some names and the names that i have decided on drum roll please and this is why i was talking about vampire diaries earlier because one of you lovely commenters had a super good idea to name the baby Stefan, <laughs> like Stefan from Vampire Diaries. Now, I haven't gotten all the way through Vampire Diaries, so please no spoilers in the comments. I've gotten to the part, you know what, I shouldn't even spoil it myself. I shouldn't spoil it if you guys haven't seen it either, but it's been out for like 10 years. So on one hand, I'm like, I shouldn't spoil it because I wouldn't want someone to spoil it for me because I'm not even finished myself. But on the other hand, it's been out for 10 years. Like if you haven't seen it by now, anyway, <laughs> we have Stefan and I like Stefan, though I like Damon more. I think that's a pretty general consensus among Vampire Diaries watchers. So if you guys don't know, if you've never seen it, Stefan is a person from Vampire Diaries. And lo and behold, guess what? Stefan in my game is also a vampire. So that's kind of like the tongue in cheek joke. Stefan in the show, Vampire Diaries is a vampire. My Stefan in my game is now a vampire because I made him a vampire. <laughs> so that's basically going to be the common theme that you're going to see with the kids here. The parents are not uh, occults of any sort. They These two are my Showtime Sims, so they are not occults or anything like that. Um, but you will notice that the kids actually are occults. And, you know, when they moved to Moonlight Falls, both Ariella and Jack, who are the parents of all these children, they noticed that their kids started taking on really weird aspects of, like, the town around them. Like, for example, you know, we have Stefan and his twin brother, which I'll get into his name in a second, <laughs> uh, became vampires. You know, we have Penelope over here, who I will also tell you all about her. She is one of the most interesting children, in my opinion. I don't want to show the house yet. No, I gotta give. I gotta give a grand tour. By the way, I did not make this house. <laughs> this house is by Kiki CF, and it's called the Natural Supernatural. Let me get that out of the way right now. If you've never seen one of my videos before, I talk relentlessly about how awful of a builder I am. Uh, but I did give this house a major, major, major renovation. One of the biggest renovations I have ever done for one of my Sims' house. You're looking at it right here. So I'll give you the grand tour in just a second. But yes, so we have baby Stefan. 
for some reason the kids all started taking on these like supernatural abilities and ariella and jack are debating whether they should keep their kids supernatural abilities all hush hush or should they spill the beans because they've also noticed that the neighbors around them their their fellow you know uh I just called it Starlight Shores, Moonlight Falls. <laughs> that was last season. Their, fe their fellow Moonlight Falls neighbors also are seeming to have some weird characteristics about them, you know, supernatural characteristics. So through the course of this love to see, that is the question we will be exploring. Are Ariella and Jack gonna let loose? Are they gonna be loose-lipped and let the town know that their kids are starting to take on some supernatural abilities or will they keep it hush-hush? So that is the, that is like our, our thesis question that in the next 45 episodes, we will be exploring that. So Jack and Ariella's original intention of moving out of Starlight Shores and to Moonlight Falls was to settle down and raise their kids. So Jack was my last season's heir for Showtime and he became level 10 in the singer career. So he had a lot of fame, a lot of fans. He performs in every single venue in Starlight Shores and they kind of wanted to get away from that life and raise their kids in a more hometowny and environment and that's how they landed upon the very elusive very beautiful very small and home hometowny very hometowny vibes of moonlight falls such a lovely world i love it here so <laughs> let's talk about stefan's twin brother theo i thought that was such a cute name theo so these two are twin vampires now i guess we'll start with the youngest right i mean that just makes sense so here's my first introduction the twins stefan and theo we don't know much about them um we do know <laughs> what we do know is that theo is uh yeah he's he's doing some sims 3 things <laughs> This could, this could only be the Sims 3 that a baby would float in the air like this. Okay, so Stefan, let's check out his traits because I don't even know. Guys, I am telling you, I do not know anything about these babies because they were born in the very last episode of last season. So I don't even know myself like what, what's about them. So we have Stefan here. His favorites are kids music, fruit parfait, yellow, his 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 traits yes that's what they're called his traits are social butterfly and handy and he is the twin brother to theo his parents are jack and ariella we're gonna work our way up so don't you worry about them yet it's not important for the time being who they are except to know that they are steve St stefan oh my god i'm gonna call him steven stefan <laughs> and Theo's parents. Next, we have Theo, who is the twin brother of Stefan, who likes Latin, cobbler, and white is his favorite color. He is adventurous and brave, so I think he's going to be more of the, um, he's going to be, I mean, there's a trait that comes with Supernatural. It's called the turn of the town, which basically means that your vampire sim has to turn. I, actually, that might be with late night. It doesn't matter. He's going to do it. That's, that's going to be his lifetime wish. So I think Theo will be the turn of the town sim. And then Stefan's going to be like the good brother, which is kind of funny because in Vampire Diaries, Stefan turns bad and like starts working for Klaus, who is like the villain and stuff. So <laughs> we got, a, we got a, a little twisted. It's a little twisted in my game. But yeah, Stefan's going to be the good boy. <laughs> and Theo, I thought that's such a cute name for a vampire. Theo, it just fits well. And I took both of those name suggestions from you guys. I think separate comments, but one of you out there thank you for pro providing me those i thought when i saw when i saw one of you recommend stefan i was like i gotta like i gotta name one of the kids stefan i have to in honor of vampire diaries okay so those are the twin boys um they will be living shall, shall i show you their rooms ah oh, this is such a beautiful i love this house thank you kiki cf once again you made a fantastic house and what's even cuter is on mall the sims if you look in the comments of this house post she is like thanking people for downloading her build it's so cute i was like kiki cf you're so precious she's like i'm sorry i can't respond to all the comments but thank you guys for liking my house i'm like girl cc you're so sweet thank you for letting me use your house <laughs> okay so <laughs> here's stefan and theo's room it's very red, blood red, because they're vampires, obviously. Like, that's the only way to do a vampire's room. It's really cute, isn't it? I like it. I, it kind of looks like the this dinosaur is eating this, um, eating this airplane here, which I didn't notice that until just now, but it's kind of like King Kong sort of thing, even though he's totally a dinosaur and not a gorilla, but okay. And then we have this little, look at this little vampire bear that comes with Supernatural. So cute. I also deleted all their imaginary friend dolls because I just don't want to be bothered, honestly. But yeah, like lots of supernatural furniture. I think 
this rug is supernatural for sure oh these are uh by the way these are one tile cribs if i get any people wondering so these only consume one tile and your baby will fit perfectly right in there because i think babies are one tile themselves th themselves so they'll fit perfectly in these cribs and i like to use these with my twins or if i have like a single mom who doesn't have a lot of room in the house then i tend to use these one tile cribs but uh they are called the little sister cribs and they are on mod the sims by the way so those are the twins Let's go back upstairs now. You know, let's give a little tour of the house. So I need to remember that I've showed the twins. So here's the outside, beautiful outside. I think what I changed is the whole outside color. I think I changed. I definitely changed this fence lining the property and I changed the lights. So those lights on the, that you see on like the balcony near the garage, all that sort of stuff. I also added a bike. These lights are all from pets. I think yes and i think these pillars are from a store set so i'm pretty sure possibly so there's the front of the house and then in the back it's like you know business really nice you know this house fits really well i've noticed in the styling of moonlight falls which is why i love it so much because it fits the perfect exact styling of all the rest of the other properties in moonlight falls so it's really great but and then in the back we have this really nice chimney on the side here and you can kind of get a little look in the house here and we have a wishing well this is from the old uh win what is it called old windmill or something that set from the sims store we have a nice little lake in the back we have a couple couple of really nice trees and then we also have some space so i plan on having our fairy and our witch who we'll get into in a second do some planting when they're teenagers because they are as you can tell all my heirs we're gonna have four heirs by the way or five five heirs guys that is the most heirs i have ever used i usually only do one sim actually this is the first generation where i've had more than like two heirs at one time because in late night i kind of did this like rotational play which was interesting to experiment with but at one time we're going to be playing with five different sims so that's the first time i've ever done that so it's going to be really fun to do and kind of like new new for you new for me it's, it's going to be really great so there is the outside of the house let's go into the foyer shall we that's where the whole family is is standing here once again let me reiterate i did not make the structure of this house but i did the biggest house renovation i have ever done in my entire life if you look at how this house looks like pre-makeover and then look at it how it looks like now it is like a different freaking house basically um but i do give credit to kiki cf for the for the shell because i would not i cannot build shells for the life of me like i always make the rooms squares and shit and it's just not a cute look <laughs> and my rooms are all like squares and so, like i would have never thought to make a foyer that kind of like wraps into a living room you know what i mean so this is kind of leaving leaving leading to the backyard this door back here and my favorite room in this entire house you guys ready for this let's go in tab mode let's go in tab mode and pretend like we're a sim going into their house for the first time so this is what my sims are all seeing like let's pretend we're fucking if we pretend we're theo then we're looking up at the heavens above but <laughs> if we pretend we're like one of these guys um then we can kind of like walk through here so got this really nice sitting area got this i feel like this is a very fitting stereo this stereo comes with generations but it fits well into the time period that i feel like moonlight falls is set in although i feel like moonlight falls is pretty contemporary probably like 2013. i feel like the town itself kind of is stuck in the old ways and stuff so yes all right so this is my favorite room in the whole entire house guys i love this room it reminds me of a speakeasy um speakeasies were like underground if you're not familiar with the speakeasy it's like an underground and back in the prohibition area era in america when alcohol was banned people would go to speakeasies and drink in like secret in privacy and it reminds me a lot of a speakeasy i think it's just because like the darker tones the lighting is kind of I, I played with lights in this house a lot you'll notice that i put some red lights here and then over here we have a lantern which kind of has is emitting that yellowish glow that that candle is giving off i thought that the candle the candle itself should emit a yellow glow, glow but it emits a white glow which is really weird so i changed it to yellow and you can kind of see me really experimenting with lighting i love I, i've never used lighting in one of my houses before and i did it a lot in here uh and i really adore the outcome so this is what you'll see if you were working you know one of the bell family parties which i'm sure we'll have many of the family we don't have any extended family living in town currently they all are living back in starlight shores but i'm sure we'll get uh ariella calling her daughter every now and then maybe inviting her over which we'll get into ariella in just a moment don't you worry if you don't know what the fuck i just meant but <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, so this is a speakeasy room. That's what I'm gonna call it. My favorite room in the entire house. Also, I did a contour roll. Did you guys see that? God, I am just such an architectural designer. Ah! Kidding. I'm kidding. I suck ass. Like I literally downloaded this house and because I'm too scared to make my own builds. Okay, I'll admit it. So yeah, that's the that's the, like the little foyer entrance area. Uh, if we go out here, I'm sure you saw a little glimpse of it. This is the garage and we have baby Stefan. Poor Stefan, you know, always the ignored brother, even in Vampire Diaries. And <laughs> this is what the garage looks like. They are rich beyond their wildest dreams. I mean, I've I would hope they'd be rich. I've been playing this family for seven, 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 one, two, three, four, five, six, seven generations. So I would hope that they are rich by this point. If they were not rich by this point, I really would have been doing, doing something wrong. So <laughs> I'm glad that they are. Here's the beautiful Jack who decided to get rid of his like pop star haircut <laughs> and go with something a little bit more mature for his age because he is getting old. And then the very beautiful Ariella Khan, who is, or Ariella Bell, I guess, but Ariella Khan, she is a townie back in Starlight Shores. So if you would like to see Ariella, I don't ever touch my Sims facial features or genetics because I like to kind of keep them. And, and you know, if there's ugly people in the world, there's beautiful people in the world, there's average people in the world, and all my Sims are representative of that. You know, some are more beautiful than others. Let me just say that. I love Ariella. She's very beautiful in my opinion. And we have floating baby, which is not included in, in the house. Don't you worry. All right. So if we turn around here from the foyer, we have yet another record player. So this one's actually from Supernatural. This is what I was talking about. This sort of like vintage sort of style. This one comes with Supernatural. But then if we go over here to this one that I just showed you guys earlier, this one comes from Super, um, not Supernatural, Generations. So Generations and then Supernatural. I feel like they are from the same exact era, but, but they're from like different packs, which is kind of confusing. Oh, look at this, guys. Do you know who this is? Sims 4 wouldn't know. I mean, they would kind of know, but they wouldn't know when Bone Hilda was good. Back in the old days, and Bone Hilda was actually good. Wow. I feel bad for Sims 4, man. They really, they tried, they tried, but you know what? No one can ever beat Sims 3 Bone Hilda because she was the MVP. And we will explore her a little bit later. Oh, look at these little photos on the wall. I forgot I, I added these. So these are photos of. Ariella and Jack, I think on their first ever date back in Starlight Shores. So freaking cute. I love the photo booths. I put photo booths in every single bar, in every single hangout, in most restaurants, I think, that I added in town. I have gone all out for this Leprosy, guys. I spent a lot of time renovating the town, which is kind of why it took so long between when I ended last season and started this season did lots did lots with the lots around town um just so we have places to go and things to do and stuff so look at this beautiful piece of cc coffee table I couldn't think of what it was and you can actually put stuff down here so i manually placed this flower in these books these fl this flower this flower in these books yes this is a functional coffee table that you can actually put stuff in these drawers and stuff. I mean, this shelf right here, not the drawers. It's a nice little fireplace. This one comes with Supernatural. These two armchairs are from the Sims 3 store. We have a nice TV and I love this bay window. What a beautiful window, right? So this window comes with Supernatural. Tried to use as much Supernatural as I possibly could in this house because I wanted to kind of play with the build and buy elements. I've never, I mean, I guess it would just be build or buy, sorry, just be buy because I don't think any build stuff came with Supernatural, could be wrong but I'm pretty sure I'm right. So yeah, here's a beautiful bay window. I, I wish I had one of these windows in my room, in my in my house, because oh, it's just so pretty. I would love to like, I don't know. It just makes me feel so witchy, you know? I guess maybe the books are giving me that impression and this kind of like fabric cloth is giving me whip, witch vibes, but man, I just want to be a witch. I just want to have a bay window. That's, that's my two wishes in life. <laughs> so if you go through this glass door couldn't think of the word glass that's nice you get the dining room very plain very basic but we have a very big dining table for all our family because we currently have eight sims and ariella wanted to have 10 babies if you watched last season ariella got the wish to have 10 babies so i'm going to complete that she currently has seven babies so three more kids and then her tubes are getting tied because I cannot raise any more of her babies. Oh my God, I'm just like her and Jack's babies, they are wild people. So I just, I can't, I, I'm really, I'm really settled with them. So here's the kitchen and yeah, that's that. <laughs> that's the first floor. So yeah, I really love this house. I'm obsessed with it. And here's like the little back, the backyard. We have a bee box over here. Uh, we have some chairs, some resting area, that cool stuff. And 
that is the that is the first first floor so let's let's let me stop the tour there and then let's do two sims and then we'll continue the rest of the house good good okay so the next baby we have after theo and stefan were born we have baby ross and at this point i was like i just want a girl and then we get theo and stefan and i'm like oh my god they're they're gonna have a girl in a million years aren't they oh my god so <laughs> we have baby ross here uh he is the fairy of our let's play which is going to be really interesting to play him out so he is family oriented he is a perfectionist and he has two days till he ages up to being a child his favorites are soul music pancakes and lilac and that's pretty much Ross. Yeah, he's just gonna be your little little fairy guy. So I'm really excited to play with him. We should also probably adjust his wings, but I'll probably do that in the next episode because yeah, cast cast stuff came with Supernatural. Isn't that crazy that we got like cast manually like changing features, not even just clothes side of cast, but actually feature modification and cast with Supernatural. Insane. We'll get into that later though. So the next thing we have here is Quinn. I can already tell I am going to adore Quinn he is so cute i love i love i love 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 this hat isn't that the cutest thing ever i do feel weird though when i change the color from green to like anything else because it's supposed to be like a dinosaur and when i think dinosaurs i think green so i always use this hat what i'm trying to say is i always use this hat but it's always in green so you've probably seen me use this before and he probably looks like 10 other sims that i made before but leave me alone okay i just love this hat so much so his favorites are hip-hop stir fry pink is his favorite color Couch potato, excitable, and savvy sculptor are his traits. I don't know why he got savvy sculptor. I might change one of his traits to be a little bit more like supernatural themed. And Quinn, can you guys guess what he is? I think I already mentioned Penelope's the witch. So yeah, Quinn is the <laughs> Quinn is the werewolf in our family. So we'll explore with him what the werewolf side of supernatural is. <gasps> He's got a doll. Delete this fucking satanic thing. Oh my god, how to get rid of that? I don't think anyone else has a doll, do they? No, I think I deleted everyone else's. Yeah, I'm okay. God, that made my heart race. Oh my God, I, I can't, I, can't, I just can't with the dolls, okay? I just can't. So here we have Penelope, the next sim. Oh, I said I was gonna do a more house tour. Um, No, we're gonna do Penelope because she's so cute. I love Penelope. I did not think, so, okay, cool thing. I mean, up until this point, Stefan, Theo, Ross, and Quinn have all been two children between, or have been children, not two children, have been children between Ariella and Jack, right? Penelope. Penelope was a, a fair baby between Ariella and can you guess it? Their maid. So Ariella, one time when the maid was cleaning the house, he must have bent over the wrong way or his freaking clavicle must have shown or been glistening with sweat or something because it made Ariella feel all hot and heavy. And she ended up having a wish to flirt with her maid. I mean, something else it might also be because she's flirty because she wanted to you know and then she wanted to flirt with the sim um the maid but yeah so she bang was banging the maid literally the first time okay so, so jack and ariella were having conception issues and then the first time she woohoos with the maid like she gets knocked up i was like of course you know of, of course out of it couldn't it couldn't have been with your husband and then it was like a whole it was a whole story there because i didn't know if jack was gonna end up accepting his stepdaughter Penelope and lo and behold he has been Jack has been probably one of his favorite children if I had to guess probably would be Penelope he has the utmost love for this girl right here and understandably she is so sweet in one of the final episodes of the last season she did a whole bake sale thing she still has them in her inventory i think it's you know they're bad quality she's she's had them for a while okay but maybe she's trying to keep them for a memory or something i don't know I just love Penelope. She is so cute. So she is going to be the witch and I'll have her probably occasionally talk to her dad. She really doesn't know him. She actually only met him for the first time or talked to him for the first time. I mean, he was invited to like family parties and her birthday and stuff and so forth, but she never really got the chance to talk to him. And one in one of the final episodes of the last season was the first time she ever talked to him in her entire life. So that was a... Uh, quite a wake-up call for Penelope I feel like because she finally I guess made some sort of relationship with her dad but up until that point she had absolutely nothing so with that let's get into the next floor of the house because all the children I just talked about all their bedrooms are on that floor minus the the two twins down here so up here we have what is going to be Ross's and Quinn's room 
they're going to share a little room together and what i love most about their room is this train set so this comes with supernatural i don't know why they added this with super like i don't know who on the sims ea developer team was like hmm you know supernatural yeah let's add a train set like it's such a weird addition but i love this thing so much i don't even know if they can play with it i, I know they can turn it on or whatever um oh look at the little hot air balloon spawns when you turn it on so he can just view it i don't know if it exactly does anything i don't think it gives them any moonlets i just think it's a really nice item for added effect i don't know why they decided to add it with supernatural but it's an interesting thought so he's going to sleep in one of these bunk beds and then when ross ages up in like two days he's gonna take one of these bunk beds over and then i'm just gonna delete this crib i know this crib looks really out of place it's yeah kind of a weird positioning of it but ross only has two days anyway so i'll just get rid of it when he's all set and then this is the hallway to the upstairs love it great design i really like the design of this house it's just wide open like very um it's very victorian i feel like but at the same time there's like wide open floor plan which is kind of like a contemporary thing so this is my favorite bathroom hands down the entire house i really did something when i decorated the bathroom like i, I mean this this carpet doesn't really match anything but we don't gotta talk about it okay <laughs> so here's the shower we have this little storage thing it's just like a decor item we have some towels uh and like a nice sink area with some makeup because ariella this is also ariella and jack's bathroom it has to be because there's no other bathroom for them on this floor and yes yeah, so there's the bathroom and then if you go past this over here this is gonna be penelope's room she has a really cute she gets a whole room to herself like it pays off being one of the only girls actually the only girl in this family because she gets her own room which i'm so jealous of her <gasps> why did i why did i do that okay that was weird i don't know why that was like off Ugh, i didn't like that being all centered you know so yeah here's her really nice bedroom this this uh i think this is supposed to be a tapestry i can't tell if this is supposed to be a tapestry or like a wall painting but it's from the sims Street store i don't remember what set and it's actually a light so i could change this to like oh i could change it to yellow i think that would look really cool in yellow yeah i like that because it has like yellow accents on it so i feel like it should emit emit a yellow glow this is what i'm saying guys i really in this house i really experimented with lighting and it just intrigues me now because i've never used it before and now i like have suddenly started to use it and i'm it's just opening my eyes how it can change up a whole room you know what i mean so she has some toys over here and that's her room and then probably one of my favorite rooms actually no <laughs> not my favorite room i'll show you my favorite room in a second but this is the parents room jack and ariella's bedroom and i used one of my i found this in my first ever cc finds video i found this and i use this in every single one of my parents bedrooms now because i love it so much if they do not have a dresser which they do they have they ended up getting a dresser and a closet but i feel like this or sorry this should be a vanity not a dresser but you can use it as a dresser so it's just strange but i ended up giving them a closet as well and they just got, they just got some things stored down there i love this thing so much why is this lamp like this why did i not center anything oh wait i think it's because i had move objects on and i like turned it off and i forgot to delete things i'm just gonna give them like a little light bulb this is a very common lighting fixture i feel like in most people's uh most people's closets is this sort of light this light with the string hanging down from it so that's their bedroom love it and they are the only person in the entire house to have the balcony and that overlooks the front yard which is really nice i feel like it'd be really nice to just sit out there on a warm summer's day you know jack and ariella sitting in each one of these armchairs and just talking about life talking about their kids talking about their life accomplishments that sort of thing so that is the second floor of the house if you exclude the basement that's the second floor i don't think most people include the basement do they when they're saying talking about floors i don't think so so uh i can't go actually i can go up further because this eventually eventually i think i might turn this into stefan and theo's room attic room you know what this really reminds me of this reminds me of the original goth household in the sims 2 if you've ever played the sims 2 this sort of attic area attic space really reminds me of the attic that the goths have they kind of um they don't have much up there i don't think i think they just have like a painting easel if you're talking about the sims 2 one if you're talking about the sims 4 one they have a whole bedroom up there for alexander but yeah the sims in the sims 2 in the original goth household they only have like a painting easel up there and nothing else. i think they have a I don't know. I, I put that picture of Bella that's above the master 
bedroom in sims 2 in the attic because it's really weird to have like cassandra and dawn sleeping under the portrait of bella which is like cassandra's missing mom i don't know if you know what i'm talking about you know what i'm talking about but anyway this is the upstairs room i'm gonna have penelope eventually start to like brew potions and shit up here so that'll be really interesting I don't know if I should turn this into Theo and Stefan's room. I kind of like them in the basement because they're vampires. And eventually, I'm going to change their beds over to the, those coffin beds that came with the Sims 3 Late Nights. And then there's a couple more that came with um, Supernatural. So that'll be really interesting. But let's move on to the final three Sims. This guy, since he moved on the Starlight Shores, I feel like, okay, so here's the thing so oliver in previous generations he was very sweet he was really really down to earth very respectful towards women but i feel like because he was in starlight shores which is a town that is unarguably very infatuated with uh outward appearance and they're very conscious about their outward appearance right because that's like that's a town dedicated to you know celebrities and people are very obsessed with fame and their and their images it's that town solid shores is a reflection of california and i think it's safe to say that people in california at least in the la area are um very like they try to social climb right so they're so they're very self-conscious about how they look and how they present themselves to people so because of that i feel like oliver was very shy with women but if you notice towards the latter half and it's literally like right in the middle from the middle to the end of last season oliver was super he was getting around town just like his dad his dad had several affairs because his dad like I just mentioned, was a part of the LA, you know, scene that he was a very, he's a, he's still a very famous singer. He's level 10 in the singer career, although he is retired now. He doesn't do shows anymore. But I must say, uh, he started to mimic the actions of his dad a lot. And I guess in the move from Starlight Shores over to Moonlight Falls, because like I mentioned, he was very shy and timid in Starlight Shores where people are very beautiful and care a lot about their appearance. But now that he's in this kind of like dinky small town, he definitely feels a lot more liberal in the way that he um, hangs out with women, I guess, so to say. Basically what I'm trying to say is he hoes around town. Okay, that's what I'm trying to say. He was very shy in Starlight Shores then moved to this dinky small town of Moonlight Falls. And now boy, he is gonna get himself out there and he's a hopeless romantic now guys he's a hopeless romantic he's he was he's always been kind of flirty um but he the way in the way in which he was flirty i feel like was to people that already wanted his affection he had a long time girlfriend named roberta in high school she was very beautiful and he scored with her he really did he also went to prom in his uh everyday wear which I, I mean, he's a teenage boy or he was a teenage boy back then. So I guess it makes some sort of sense. But here she is killing it with her high heels and beautiful hair. She's having a time of her life and he's just in his his fucking basketball shorts. <laughs> so that's his prom photo. Um, but he was he got most popular in high school. So I feel like probably when he got that most popular ribbon for high school, I feel like that's the point of when he was like he kind of woke up. He's like, oh, I can be hot shit, can I? And then he started to hoe himself out. And you can really see that in the latter half of um, last season. He really, he got himself around town. So speaking of him, his name is Oliver and his favorites are classical frog legs and gray. His traits are klepto, which we've never really experienced. But I feel like once again, people in Starlight Shores are very they're city people you know city people are always really tune in tune and they're very uh you know gotta go here 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 and here well he's living in this small dinky town now where there's you know people that are not that, that probably have never lived in a city in their entire life and they're not as in tune like that so maybe he will start to explore his his klepto side i do know that he did steal some things every now and then autonomously um, but we'll see if he maybe can have him go out and steal a little bit more so he's also not a hopeless romantic he was an angler before he, he changed you know in the move to hopeless romantic he's flirty he's a daredevil he is ambitious and fun fact about oliver he's the firstborn out of jack and ariella's children jack the father did not know about oliver uh he didn't even know that ariella was pregnant she didn't tell him i feel like she was kind of having some internal conflict because back then jack and ariella weren't married i don't even think that they were dating at that point they were just seeing each other sleeping with each other and yeah she got ended up getting knocked up by jack she didn't even tell jack that 
she was pregnant and boom out pops oliver so he was a surprise baby he was definitely an accident baby and he was the only baby i think that was born he was born when his dad was on the uh come up when his dad was on his come up so he was the one that lived kind of the struggle life because jack was living in a really small studio apartment for a long time and oliver kind of um grew as his dad's career grew in the singer career oliver also grew and the rest of them were born into extravagant wealth so there's not really much to be said about them and their their how they grew up i mean they grew up in the lap of luxury all these kids maybe even oliver i feel like when by the time oliver was a teenager his dad was really rich so he was he was he, he's kind of he's been cocky he's always been cocky he's that's my that's my biggest character trait for for oliver is cockiness for sure all right so moving on from oliver we're going to talk about jack the one and only jack my last season's heir one of the most fun i've ever had playing uh the sims 3 before is with this this man right here his traits are ambitious easily impressed natural born performer social butterfly star quality if you cannot tell by now he was my singer and he completed his lifetime wish he's all set he, his favorites are green gooby carbonara and pop music of course he was a pop singer and yeah he uh makes three three thousand six hundred a week though he does not sing anymore i will keep him actively in the singer career just so he can make this stipend because if you have if i had him retire right now his pension would be like significantly less than what his stipend is so I just won't have him perform or anything i mean his agent's gonna try and call him and book him for gigs so maybe i should have him i don't know i'm kind of on the fence if i want him to actually retire and take his pension he could and he would still make a, a decent amount of money but i kind of like this 3600 i mean we're rich anyway i doubt we'll ever get below you know into like when we need it uh but yeah his traits are level six in athletic level five cooking level one fishing um level one gardening level one guitar i thought his guitar was a lot higher because he was playing guitar on stage maybe that's why he sucked <laughs> level five i mean he was okay he was okay but in his early days when he's playing guitar he like the crowd did not like it level five handiness level three logic level two painting and then he has two hidden skills of arcade machine or level four arcade machine level four ch uh, level three chess these don't even matter so i'm not even gonna read them off i don't think oliver has any trait oh he does have some traits wow he's got level 10 homework which is insane that's a hidden skill by the way that is a part of the hidden skills mod so if you guys don't know uh computer playing chess playing homework even is a skill in the sims 3 albeit a hidden skill but you can get mods to unlock these so you can kind of view the hidden skills that your sims have i find that this is extremely helpful with werewolves because they will go out and they will hunt collectibles and i do think that the hunting collectible skill is a hidden skill that's that's primarily why i've had this mod in my game for a couple of generations now is for supernatural in specific so that is jack does he have any cool inventory items i don't think so oh him and his wife took a honeymoon <laughs> fun fact about jack Let, let's talk about jack okay let's talk about him for a second jack uh well him and his wife as i mentioned before let me let me preface jack had many affairs many many affairs but the thing the difference is here i thought that jack had probably five plus affairs maybe five affairs okay probably five affairs not plus just five and he never got any girl pregnant or so i thought these two went on a honeymoon to egypt that was their honeymoon and on the honeymoon not even 48 hours after ariella and jack had been married guess who slept with an egyptian girl this guy right here and so they go back to starlight shores you know um and then about 10 years into their marriage jack gets a call on the phone from said egyptian girl her name is zara and surprise you have a child <laughs> so in the last couple episodes of last season jack went to go and meet his son ahmad for the very first time here's his mom zara she is a green thumb friendly good and insane and great kisser stressing the insane trait here because yeah this bitch is crazy and so ahmad was was the product of that he's part animal commitment issues stupid and clumsy and um jack uh visited his son ahmad and that was that was that yeah so he's he's a teen 
though i think if i invited him into town right now he would age up to his accurate age the thing with enros travelers kind of like a behind the scenes little fun fact your sim will not age until you invite them to stay in your town and then all that time that you haven't seen them um it will age them to be accurate it does not age them in the family tree so he's probably if i had to guess i think he'd be older than oliver or maybe like a little bit maybe even the same age as oliver I can't remember the timing of when these two were born, but insane. Like that is the first and only time I've ever had a secret love child pop out. <laughs> it was it was the most crazy thing that happened last season. If I could name one crazy thing that happened last season, it would be Jack's little love child with uh, with the Egyptian woman, Zara. Crazy, absolutely crazy. So let's move on to one of my favorites and the final sim we will go over in this video the woman that carried all of Jack's children and some other men's children at the same time. Not all at the same time, but you know, she did both. She, she, not just Jack's kids, okay? Uh, Aria LaBelle. So she is a townie, a pre-made in Starlight Shores. She lives in the, I don't even know what, Gonzalez household, I think is what the name is. So if you, if you fired up your Sims 3 game right now and you wanted to play out Ariella or you wanted to kind of like make a child with Ariella because her genetic genetics are actually really pretty. Like she has very different facial features than I would typically think to give a Sim, but she's very pretty nonetheless. Um, I don't touch Sims facial features, so go fire ahead and or fire away and uh, you'll have very pretty Ariella babies. But she, yeah, she, she does make some really pretty babies as you've seen by my other children here. Her favorites are hot pink, grilled salmon, electronica. She's neat, good, flirty, easily impressed, charismatic. I never read her bio. I wonder her bios. While at a party, Ariella fell in love with Mitton. <laughs> uh, Ariella had a husband named Mitton. So she had an affair with Jack. So Jack is the affair, <laughs> which is kind of funny because there's a saying that if they cheat with you, then they'll cheat on you. Because Ariella cheated with Jack while she was married, she also then cheated on him promptly after that with the maid and got pregnant. Does that make any sense? So these two have a very have had a very toxic relationship throughout the entirety of Starlight Shores. They are so toxic for each other. Jack cheats on her, she cheats on Jack. She got pregnant that one time. And I mean, I guess they're even because Jack got a fucking Egyptian woman pregnant as well. So basically they're even at this point. But but yeah, I just like their toxic relationship. There's nothing good about it. Nothing to be romanticized about it. It's just awful. <laughs> They're awful for each other. Um, but at the same time, I think they kind of keep it together for their kids. And, you know, once the last baby, which I don't think Stefan and Theo will be the last children of theirs, you know, once these two grow up and are out of the house, they've flown the nest, then maybe they won't be together anymore. I feel like they really are keeping it keeping it together for the kids. So, okay, let's go back to her biography. That's my little spiel on that. So Mitton was her first husband and then she had an affair with Jack and then promptly broke up with Mitton and got married to Jack and then cheated on Jack. So the, the saying, if they cheat with you, they'll cheat on you deems true because she cheated on Jack, uh, she cheated on Mitton, got together with Jack and then cheated again. So cheaters are cheaters, right? Cheaters are cheaters from the heart. Uh, from the moment he told her he was a professional athlete after following Mitton out to the city, Ariella's trying to get her own life on track. Never quite sure what she wanted to do in life. She really upon, she happened upon a political job where she was quickly moving up the ladder. So yeah, she'll, she will be in the political career. She quit that before we moved out to Moonlight Falls because she wanted to spend time raising her children, understandably. Now that Ariella's found something she's good at, she's starting to think about settling down. She loves Mitton and hopes they'll one day have a family together, but wonders if Mitton will ever grow up and put their relationship before his mooch of a best friend, Ernesto. So Ernesto is the roommate that Ariella and Mitton are living with when you first unpause your game in Starlight Shores. The first second that you breathe Starlight Shores air, she will be with Mitton in the in their in that household. And they lived in an extremely big mansion. They were rich. I think it's partly because Mitton is rich because he's a professional athlete. And then partly because that best friend that the bio just talked about, he's also pretty well off. So and yes, uh to answer the bio's question, she did end up having a family with Mitton and she had Charlotte who Oh my god, I love Charlotte so much. She was so fun to play in the last generation. So actually, when Ariella and Jack got married, Charlotte was already a teenager. So I was basically playing with only a teenage and up 
Charlotte, which was really fun to play. I like playing teenagers. They're, they have a lot to do in, in this industry. But yeah, here's Mitten on the family tree. He has long since passed away, but Char uh, Charlotte is still living in Charlotte Shores. She has a whole, her whole family in Charlotte Shores. So that makes sense to me. I don't know why her, it's not saying that she's married to her husband, but her husband, so yeah, okay. So Charlotte, she is daredevil, snob, good, couch potato, and dramatic. Let me get my, I don't know why this is high school. She is not in high school. Let me make that for, she's like a adult, I think. She's nowhere near being in high school. That's really weird. Oh guys, I have quite a story to tell you with Mr. Dan Demon here. So Charlotte was at the park one day. So once again, Charlotte is Ariella's daughter. Charlotte was at the park one day, minding her own business, just walking down the, you know, walking around the park and she stops in her tracks and she sees this guy right here, Dan Demon. And me and Charlotte both were like, who is that meal? He is, he was, he is and to this day is a such a good looking sim. I cannot believe a NPC. So not a pre-made, so not EA made, an NPC, meaning the game automatically spawned him to fill a role. And can you guess what that role was? I'll give you a second. That role was to be a stripper. So he was a male stripper. He is the, if you ever throw a bachelor or a bachelorette party, depending on your sim's gender preference, if your sim is a male and he's gay, a male sim will come to the party and dance. If your sim is a female and straight, a male sim will come to the party and dance. Lo and behold, Dan Demon was a stripper. So his traits, as you can see here, flirty, party animal, excitable, childish, and mooch. He was labeled as the town gigolo. And if you don't know what a gigolo is, it is basically a escort, meaning that story progression would constantly give me messages in the in the top right corner here. Dan Demon was off seeing this, this, this sim today. And so he got his way around town and uh, he married Charlotte in the end. She did end up pursuing him and marrying him, though he was very, very unfaithful so and she stayed with him she she at one point she found out and it did cause a really big rift in the relationship but i guess maybe they didn't work out because it doesn't say that they're married on the family tree i'm not exactly sure we'll have ariella call at some point and get the scoop on that because i am very interested should i show off the final bits of this house should i show you guys my favorite room in this entire house i think i will so this is oliver's room and i gave him this room because he is gonna be the master of love <laughs> so i gave him the rumbling uh or shaking vibrating vibrating bed from the original sims game from the sims 1 they brought it back into the sims 3 i think with diesel or high end loft stuff i can't remember but this is from one of those uh stuff packs and such a cool bed i love it so much so he's got some money on his side table i feel like I'm gonna have the most fun playing Oliver until I move him out and have him start his own family or have him pursue a career or something because I love playing, I love playing guys that are like getting their way around town. It's just so fun. And like I said, I experimented a lot with lighting. So if you look back here, you can actually see that this is a candlestick. This is not even a real light. It's just like a candlestick that I changed the color to red on. And this is uh this is his room it's very simple but it's like got that like chic kind of like bdsm vibe to it i don't know why <laughs> but yeah this is his room in the basement what a better place to put it right than in the basement and oh, out here is kind of just like an entertainment area i don't know what to do with this area so i kind of just turned it and maybe i could someday turn it into another bedroom if need be i hope i won't have to i hope i can use this space up here for one of my children one of them should be able to go in the attic because i mean we're gonna have three more kids at, at the minimum and i and i hope at the maximum three as well i don't want any more than three um but ariella did want to have 10 kids back in starlight shores so i would assume her intentions are staying the same and here's the downstairs bathroom i just used master suite stuff in there but guys that is the family. That is what the Bell family have been up to since they departed Starlight Shores in search of a brand new town to kind of settle down and raise their children. That was their main goal is to settle down and kind of take their take their children away from the hustle and bustle of Starlight Shores and uh, kind of have like a more relaxed living situation. So if you are interested in following this family's generation, this this series, this season's lineage, sorry, I can't speak, then I will post videos almost every single day. I will put this similar out there right now. I'm taking 19 credits this semester, so I don't know if daily uploads will be possible, 
that I guess we'll ha just have to see. So guys, thank you all so much for watching. I will catch you in episode two of Let's Play The Sims 3 Supernatural. I'm super excited to see and actually get into playing the family. And I will catch you guys all then. Peace out, guys.